afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is actually a retrofit that we've done so many times is untrue, but bearing in mind that this is probably one of the last of the Audi A38V convertibles, we thought we'd do a video because this is the Highline reversing camera we fitted. Now, what I've got in my hand is the original factory grab bar that we have removed, and that's because it's got the LED number plate lights and the grab bar and the lock mechanism, but nowhere for a reversing camera. So the whole of that has to come out and be replaced for a new one with the reversing camera. Now the convertibles are renowned to be quite hard work, so we always book them in for a couple of extra hours, and that's purely because we've got to dismantle everything inside here, run the cabling through the boot lid into the grommet, and then through the car, through the convertible roof mechanism, down the passenger side, and rather than going over the roof lining, we can't because obviously it's convertible. Now, the uh, I don't think, I've not seen any other A3 convertibles on the road, so I don't think that the newer model um, does a convertible, uh, but I may be wrong. Um, this, is, this has been a very popular model for a long time. In fact, my folks have got one, but the Audi A3 8V is a nice looking car and just finished off now with a nice genuine Audi retrofit. So a high line reversing camera with moving guidelines um, on the motorized display. So as soon as you put the car into reverse gear, that will give you then a nice sharp image up on the screen. So join me in the front, we'll show you what it's like working. Right, now that we're sat in the front of this uh, vehicle, it's definitely well specced out. You've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Um, you've even got the neck heat events for when you're driving and the roof is down in lower temperatures. Uh, we've got folding mirrors, hill hold assist. We've even got the dimming mirrors, which is quite rare to see on these, but it's a really handy feature because if you've got a car behind you at night, then the mirrors are not um, reflecting the headlight glare and they are dimming for you as well as the frameless uh, rear view mirror dimming as well, which is really nice. So yes, fully loaded. Um, and uh, as I said, I think definitely one of the last on the production line. So reversing cameras all in. So if I put my foot on the brake and pop it into reverse gear, the screen changes over to the reversing camera. Now for many, many years since Audi did their facelift, people did have a bit of a whinge and a moan saying, why have we lost 100% uh, of the screen with, uh, with the overlay to suddenly we've got a 70-30? Um, this reversing camera image could easily have been 100% of the screen and then the overlay, which is what it was on the pre-2016 facelift models. Um, but they've decided to change it and it's carried, been carried across into their um, A4s, their A5s, the Q3, the Q5, um, and also the Q7. But we don't know why, because it does look like the reversing camera is slightly squished. Uh, but it doesn't matter, it does the job and it works. So I'm just gonna start the engine. I'll just put that back into the park. Now, if I start the engine like so, and put it back into reverse gear, you've got your moving guidelines just shows the trajectory of where you're going to end up. You could get into the car and find that your steering wheel is, looks completely straight. But in fact, actually the front wheels are 180 degrees one way to the left or right. So if we put the wheel back to where it was, the steering wheel looks straight again, um, but your guidelines are straight. So it just shows that you're not gonna then career off into another vehicle in the car park. You've got your parking sensor overlay as well. You will only get that if you've got factory parking optical sensors and most of these Audis were locked down so that you only got the front display optical and the rear if you had the full front and rear button. Now hopefully in the camera you can see this. So if I press this button now, it means that you're gonna then switch it off. So I can put it into park. I can press this button. You get the reversing camera and the front and rear um, parking sensors. So just to recap on what I just said, if unless you upgrade to the front factory parking sensors, you will not get this image or optical image for your, your um, factory sensors on display, but you can have the reversing camera on its own. It just doesn't look particularly good. So moving guidelines. And if I move the main MMI jog wheel to the left, uh, what we can do is let's just go into the menu. And in the menu here, we've got things like 
Um, this is for the parking sensors, doesn't affect the reversing camera, but it just uh, affects things like automate, um, activate automatically, so that when you pull up to somebody in front of you, the parking sensors will activate automatically um, on your display, but it only shows this little image, which is quite cool. And not relevant to the reversing camera, but it's all part of the comfort features for the car itself. So pop the car back into park, turn off the reversing camera, and again, pop it back in, automatically activates. What we also like about this, because it's a factory fitted bit of kit, let's just say I was to turn the system off and the screen was down. If I now put it into reverse gear, screen will pop up, show the reversing camera and the parking sensors. I pop it into park, turn off the parking sensors because we haven't traveled anywhere and the screen will then shut itself again. So this is the Audi A3 8V facelift, so 2017 onwards, and this is a 70 plate. So as I said, one of the last remaining Audi A3 8V fully loaded cabriolets, convertibles, and we've just fitted the Highline reversing camera, all genuine parts, two years warranty, and uh, looks great on the display for peace of mind for when parking. Uh, website link is in the bio. As usual, thank you for watching. We do really appreciate it. Follow us on social media and look out for our next video. Now have a good day.